back to my channel. My name is Squid. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's get into some Stardew Valley. If you happen to notice that I'm steaming a little bit off today, it's honestly just because I'm exhausted. Why? Because I thought it would be a great idea to allow myself to have a little nappy nap before recording this. And guess what? It just made me more tired. I just woke up and I didn't even know what day it was. But I realized what day it was and I was like, well, I gotta finish recording this. Oh my goodness. This is my least favorite part about starting a new season is having to go in and destroy all of my old crops that I planted too late in the season because I didn't read how long it took for them to grow. But yeah, little tip, pay attention to how long it takes seeds to grow before you plant them because they'll just die at the end of the season. And we really don't need to be wasting money, especially this early on in the game when like we're already broke. I left early this morning, so nothing is open, and I'm just gonna wander around and annoy any NPC that's awake, like Alex! I barely talked to him, but hi. Uh, how much you wanna bet he's just gonna waste the whole summer standing by that dog pen? Anyway, now that I've definitely not wasted an hour just standing around in the plaza, let's finally get our seed. Let's waste all our money for the day. I'm gonna start by trying to get the ones that take the longest to grow and the ones that'll grow more than once. That'll continue growing, reprodu that'll continue producing crops. Those are the ones that I wanna plant first. Because then we can get as much crops as possible this summer. We're, we're gonna try to maximize our profits this time. We're gonna do better than we did last month. Look at how beautiful my fields look now. So satisfying. And I'm about to go ruin it all by placing random crops everywhere. Why? Because I almost never plan anything out. Why would you have a plan? Chaos is the only answer. Like my snails, they're probably the most chaotic pet I have right now, which doesn't sound like they'd be a very chaotic pet since they're snails and they move slow, but they are chaotic. Why? Because I'm having to constantly check on them and worry as to whether or not they have climbed out of my fish tank and they're dying somewhere. If that ever happens, I'm gonna cry. I miss, I would miss my snails. I love them. I love my chaotic little babies. But they're constantly making me paranoid that they're gonna climb out. So if anyone has any tips on how to snail proof your aquarium, let me know. Anyone who's not listening will be so confused as to why a Stardew Valley video has fish comments but I need help. I don't want them to escape. I don't want them to dry themselves out. Because it's not like they have a brain and can think, oh, I'm getting too dry. I need to find my way back in the tank. No, they're not smart like an octopus. Those things are geniuses and I'm pretty sure they're aliens that are gonna take over the world. Like, why else do you need that many extra organs if you're not planning a massive war? Like, trust me guys, the octopi are going to take over. Friend them now while you have the chance. Because they're so much smarter than us. I'm like 90% sure the only reason octopi stay in their enclosure is because they like the food. Like, if I was getting free shrimp every day, heck yeah, I'd go back and stay there. Like... No, I want to leave. Maybe I'd go for a little walk just to stretch my legs. Then I'd be back. Why? Free shrimp, baby. Who doesn't want the free shrimp? You know, Harvey is one of those characters that I barely ever talk to. And sometimes I forget he exists. Why? 
because he's never at his job when I need him. He is never in the doctor's office when I am sick and dying, when I am low on health and I need one of his tonics. He's gone. He's like, nope. And then he has the audacity to occasionally complain to me about how he doesn't have enough work. And how he's not making enough money. You'd be making more money if you were actually there in the afternoon when I was dying. Like after I'm done mining. But it's not late enough for me to go to bed yet. Harvey, I need you there. I need you at your job. But you abandoned your post. And you abandoned me. Linus would never abandon me. He is my homie, he is my bestie, he is my ride or die, we will be there for each other no matter what. A few shopkeeps that don't abandon me though are Willie and Pierre. They're normally there when I need them. Why does they actually work at 9 to 5? Like, look at him. And then when Willie's done, he just comes out here and fishes so we can fish together like little fishing buddies. Look at how cute we are. We're besties. Not really, because I barely ever talk to him, but you know. If I didn't if I wasn't socially anxious towards an NPC, we'd be besties. Like he really just watched me waste all day fishing. And then all he said was it's decent weather for fishing, eh? Yeah. Yeah it is. You watched me waste the entire day only to catch a bunch of algae. Yeah, you were still nice to me. And like Haley. She's evil. She's like a demon spawn. She's always so mean to me. Why am I fishing on the beach? Can someone come teach me controls, please? Because your girl needs to learn what she is doing. Like, count the number of times I run into things, or I just use my tool for no reason. I'm not gonna because it's too many, but you you let me know if you have the energy to do that. Like literally all I did today was plant crops and fish. If I don't at least make decent money from this, I, I genuinely don't know how to play this game. Like look at that, I wasted the entire day for a handful of algae not even worth 400 coins. Or gold? Is that my currency? <laughs> I, I don't know. I genuinely don't know much about this game. I shouldn't even be recording. But I am. And you're watching. So... Hopefully me struggling to learn how to play this is at least somewhat helpful or entertaining. I didn't really do much with day two because I decided the best use of my energy would be to start collecting materials I need. I think to build a silo and chests and just various things in general that I'll need to make playing this game a bit easier and to help keep my animals alive. So enjoy the vibey little clip of me just cutting down trees. Once I actually stopped cutting down trees before I became like extremely sluggish and I think I actually had a snack in my inventory so I'm not like moving slowly because that's the most irritating thing in this game. Not really. It's fishing. I have a love-hate relationship with fishing. I think it's so hard and it never needs to be that hard. But they made it that hard because they hate us and they want to slightly punish us for playing this game. But they can't completely punish us for playing this game because then no one would enjoy this game and they wouldn't make money.
Did anyone else hear that weird rumbling? Because that wasn't my mic. That was genuinely a noise the game made. And I'm interested as to what event that was. There was an earthquake during the night. Okay, well, that at least explains the weird rumbling sound. It was supposed to be an earthquake. And now it's pouring rain. And you know what we do on rainy days. We go to the mines and we fight the slimes. Say it with me now. We go to the mines and we fight the slimes. That was so cringy, guys. But, um, shout out to you if you actually joined me. Because you got, it's the little things, guys. That's how you get serotonin. That's how you fight depression. You just do silly little things like that. And you're like, yeah, I'm a funny little goofball. I'm a silly little guy. That was the note from Mary Lewis asking, asking us to find his purple boxers. Which I think are in someone's ranch, if I remember right. So we're going to have to befriend our fellow farmer. And I can't say her name. But she's sweet. And you know what? Good for her for having an affair with him. Which isn't really an affair because they're both single. <laughs> He's in his tent. He says people don't like a wild man. I don't care. I think he's fine just the way he is. I should have given him a gift. Why didn't I give that to him? He deserves some, like, something. He's literally my favorite. Like, I love Linus. He has done no wrong. Like, he has treated me like a friend from day one. He's been scared of me because he thought I'm going to hurt him. Like, a lot of the other people. Which, you know what? That's fair. He's got to look out for himself. And he's got to protect himself. But also, like... I want to be his friend. And I want him to trust me because I care about him. Linus is obviously my favorite character, but like, who's your bestie in the game? Let me know in the comments, I'm curious. Who is your best friend in this game? Like, almost every time you play, who do you need to befriend first? Let me know. I'm curious. Let me be nosy. get up and take a break for a minute because I could only see one of my snails from where I'm sitting and I just had this gut feeling that the other one, his brother, was just up to no good. So I got up to check on him. I could not find him and I was like, oh no. He's on an adventure. He escaped. He did not. He was a good boy. He was just napping underneath a leaf and I couldn't see him. So that was my bad. I was just blind and didn't find my snail. But he's there. They're being good minimum chaos today which i appreciate it's always nice when my pets don't make my life harder i haven't had my snails for very long so they're still relatively new to me and i don't know exactly what all they like to eat yet but i'm excited to get to know them and to like learn and research what all they can have so i can spoil them with little treats every now and then just like a little snack so they can have something fun to munch on that'll help their diet and make them happy because you gotta give your animals enrichment. If you're not, why do you have them in a psych ward? Nobody wants that. You gotta give them enrichment. You gotta give them time to play and enjoy their lives so they don't become depressed. pulled so many Jodra Colas out of that pond, I might as well call it, like, Jodra Cola Lake. That's what I'm gonna call it. 
If I ever refer to Joe Jacola Pond or Lake, that's it. It's my little pond in my yard. Farm. I don't know words. I don't speak English. I don't know what you're talking about. It is now Thursday, day four, which means Pierre's shop is open. So I'm probably just gonna tend to my crops, buy a bunch more seeds, plant them, spend more time watering, and then probably waste the rest of the day fishing again. Why? Because I'm addicted to the fish grind. I just can't help it. No matter what game I'm playing, if there's the ability to fish, you will find me fishing. 90% of the time, unless I have some sort of quest to do, I am at the river fishing. Why? I don't know. It's just so satisfying to pull in that fish. I think it's because I've only caught like one fish in real life, which is why I can't stop fishing in Stardew Valley or Animal Crossing, but Stardew Valley hates me and they make it so difficult to catch fish. And if you've ever played, you will know exactly what I mean because it is like it's like they don't want you to catch fish. But it's like, why? How am I supposed to complete the community center if I can't catch any fish? It is 10 a.m. on a Thursday. Abigail was probably in that kitchen. I should have gone back there to look for her to at least say hi. Because then I would have gotten more friendship points. And I want to be her friend. Anyway. Time to plant the 40 billion seeds I bought from Pierre's. Stole all my money for these seeds. Now I'm broke. Can't buy anything. Can't even buy a piece of bread if I'm starving. But it's okay. At least I have seeds. So that I can have plants soon. And I'll make money in a couple days. It's okay to be broke now if we'll be rich later. Don't actually follow that financial advice. I have no idea how that'll do in real life. I only know how to be financially stable in video games. And how do you get financial stability in video games? You spend all your time fishing. That's right. You, you heard me. I found this tip while mindlessly scrolling through the interwebs, as one does. And anyway, it said that you should make extra chests to keep by the places you go fishing, and I think that's a genius idea, especially while I have, like, no inventory space and I can only hold three fish at a time. If I had a little chest over here, I could just put the extra fish in there and then come back for them later, and I'd make so much more money. And whoever first thought of that is a freaking genius, and I need to collect wood and do that. But... Will I remember to do that? Probably not. I don't know. It'll probably be a while before I actually remember to take wood, make extra chests, and then find my favorite fishing spots and go put the chests there. If you don't know, you can also pick up chests and really any item by just holding Y while facing it. Like, if you just click Y, it'll wiggle, right? And it won't let you pick it up. But if you hold Y, it'll wiggle multiple times, and then you can pick it up. I think if you do that with chests, you can pick it up with everything inside of it. I have not picked up a chest with things in it, but that is what I've heard. I will try it for you someday. I will give you the evidence, the proof. I'll back up my tips with scientific evidence so that we can all learn how to play animal not Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley and not look like fools but I'll look like a fool for you bestie so you can learn from my mistakes alrighty that's enough fishing for now I'm probably not going to make much money off of that but it was fun Let's read Living Off the Land, see what we can learn today. Here's a rundown of the fish you can only find in summer. Oh, very helpful. That is a lot to read. I'm not gonna read all that. But if you want to know, go ahead and pause it so you can find out. Oh look, we leveled up our fishing skill. 
That's good. Useful. Hopefully it'll make fishing a little bit more bearable. I'll be punished less for just wanting to spend my nice sunny days fishing. Alright, it is Friday. I have no idea how I want to spend today. If I'm going to fish again, because I just love fishing so much, apparently. It's my favorite thing to do. Or if I need to gather resources. I really need to go up to Robin's cabin eventually and take a look at what it takes to get a silo built. Because I want to start clearing out all the grass. It's getting annoying and I would like to have more field soon. I know the silo is going to need like clay and copper bars, but I don't remember what else. I think stones? I don't remember how many. I think at least like a hundred, a couple hundred. I'll figure it out. I'll go look or I'll look it up online. I don't know. It depends on whether or not I pass Robin's house at some point within the next day or two. If I stop by her house, I also need to like look into what I need to get a barn because I would love to have cows. And speaking of my animals, I need to make sure I have food for them. So we're gonna go see if Oh look! She is actually here. I can't tell you how many times I have walked into her house and she's in one of the other rooms. Or I'm about to go in and she comes out. That is going to be the cause of my animals starving one of these days. I guarantee it. That's why I need a silo so I can start stocking up hay so it won't happen. Because I'd be sad. If they can like starve and die like the chickens or my cows, I be devastated. I might shed actual tears if I lost one of my animals. Why? Because I get overly attached to pixels. But they're cute pixels and they make my brain produce serotonin anytime I interact with them. So of course I'm going to get emotionally attached to them. Why wouldn't I? It's just basic brain chemistry. Okay, but please don't, like, actually quote me on that, because I barely passed biology in high school, so I, I, I don't actually know what I'm talking about. I just like talking. I just like saying random things. Why? I don't know. Because this video would be awkward and quiet if I didn't. But don't take my medical advice, guys. I don't know anything about the human body. In fact, learning about it kind of disgusts me. It gives me the ick. And I'm not about that. What I am about, though, is that fishing grind. Love fishing. And I'm slowly getting better at it and leveling up. So it'll be fun soon. Because I'll be able to actually catch a decent amount of fish throughout the day. And maybe, just maybe, I'll make it out of my broke girl era. And actually have some sort of money and be able to buy like the backpack expansion so I didn't have a decent amount of inventory and not have to constantly go back to my farm to sell things or put them away because that takes up a lot of time when I could be doing things like fishing. I need to learn how to actually make bombs so I can use them in the mines because I think those will come in handy especially when I'm trying to collect like a lot of materials but I don't want to spend the energy to go around breaking each rock individually. It sounds like a good idea. I don't know if it'll actually be a good idea. I really hope so. If you have any better ideas let me know I guess because I really don't know how to survive the mines, and that's something I need to get better at so I can actually get metals and ores so I can make things. And so this whole process can get easier and I can actually spend more time enjoying the game instead of just grinding. I am 
enjoy the process of grinding, like just spending lots of time fishing or trying to work my way through the mines, but I feel like it gets really boring to watch, especially when that's pretty much all I do for a week straight is just try to grind out one area. So, I hope I can get to do more of the like adventurous parts of this game. Like, I want to start talking to the people in the town more. I want to figure out what's going on with the sewer, so I need to figure out how to get the key. I think it's from the dude who runs the museum. So we need to figure out how to get that. So we can figure out what monster is lurking in the sewers. Because that was fun. Um, I also need to work on the community center. Because I want to know what happens when that is restored. And if there's like a route in this game I can take where we get rid of Jojamar. I would be so enthusiastic. I would want to do that immediately because I feel like Jojo Mart is evil. It just gives me bad vibes. So we don't want that. We don't want the bad vibes in our town. You know? It's why the one thing I won't do in this playthrough is get a Jojo Mart subscription. I don't want Pierre's little shop to go out of business and Jojo Mart to take over. The owner of that shop is an evil, evil little man. Jojo Mart will not be taking over this town. Not in this playthrough. Mm -mm. Okay, starting day six off by just watering all my crops to make sure they all grow nice and healthy. And then we're gonna head down to Marty's ranch so we can check out some things. I might need some more hay. I might look at getting another chicken. I don't know if I can afford another chicken. But we'll see because I really wanna fill out my coop and have a cute little flock of chickens because well, why not? I'll get lots of eggs and they're cute. If you ever see those little worms, dig them up with your hoe because sometimes it's just rocks or clay but other times it's things like a lost book which will expand the library. Sometimes it's ancient artifacts which you can donate to the library. You never know what it's gonna be. Always dig up the little worms. They're there wiggling to catch your attention and say hi. So dig them up. Okay, I definitely do not have enough to buy a chicken. Well I do. But then I wouldn't have any money left over to go break open the geodes, which I've been wanting to do for a while. So, let's get those geodes opened. After we stop and say hi to Sam, because he's going to be my bestie whether he likes it or not. Oh, he forgot what he was going to do. It's okay, buddy. Happens to me too. Like, constantly. Literally any time I get up and I walk into a new room, it's like my brain just resets. I no longer have any clue what I was there doing, and I'm just standing like an NPC of some sort. I have no idea what I was doing. Does anybody in the room have any idea what I was doing? No, because I didn't tell anybody what I wanted to do. So I'm just gonna have to like go back to where I was, sit down, and then as soon as I sit back down, I'll remember what it was I got up for, and I'll have to get up and try to remember while I do it all over again. My museum looks so empty and barren. Like, there's literally nothing in here. I have a grand total of three items in the museum now. But anyway, look, here's a little book that I donated. And it's got tips about farming. It's got tips about fertilizer, about fruit trees. It warns you about crops dying as soon as the season ends, unless they grow in multiple season. And some crops such as kale and wheat need to be harvested with the scythe. See? Helpful little tips, especially if you're playing this for the first time. Dig up your worms. Get your books. Read. Become an educated little girly. While I'm still thinking about it, if anybody knows how to get the key from Gunther, I think that's the name of the dude in charge of the, like, museum slash library. But anyway, if anyone knows how to get the key from him, let me know in the comments, please, because I really want to know what is hiding in the sewers. That has piqued my interest, and I'm never going to stop thinking about it until I get down there and I get my shoes dirty. 
change of topic again because my brain can't stay focused for more than like three minutes on one subject. But my snails, they're definitely conspiring against me. Like, they're practically on top of each other. They look like they're talking. Their little faces are next to each other and they're right by the edge of the hole in the tank lid. And I'm like, you two are conspiring on how to escape together, aren't you? I don't trust them. Anyway, planting more wheat so that hopefully I can make enough wheat this summer that I don't have to buy much or any at all throughout the winter so that I can feed my chickens for free and not worry about them starving if I go down to Marine's ranch and she's not there because she doesn't want to be at work today. I need food for my chickens. I can't let them starve. You know, we had to take that short little fishing break, which then turned out to last the whole day because I get distracted and lose track of time while fishing because it's just that much fun and it requires all of my attention and effort because it's so hard. And yet it's my favorite pastime in this game because mining is so terrifying and I don't like watching my character bit on the ankles by a sneaky little slime and then just pass out and have somebody carry me up and if it's somebody like Clint he's gonna make a rude comment about how heavy I was like stop fat shaming me I weigh nothing I am a bunch of pixels don't fat shame me cancel Clint 2023 he's a fat shamer I've heard that so many other people regret befriending Clint and I'm so tempted to befriend him because I want to know why, but at the same time I'm like, I probably shouldn't because so many people hate him and wish they'd never gotten close to him, so we're going to avoid him. Like, somebody with, I don't know, the plague? Maybe not the plague because I still talk to him because I need him to process my geodes and upgrade my tools, but some weird disease that I don't want to catch. He's got cooties. Clint has cooties. Stay away from Clint unless you want to catch cooties and or get your heart broken. Because I've heard he's an awful person. Doo -doo -doo. But for real, why does everyone hate Clint? What does he do? What happens? Somebody let me know, please. I want the tea. Spill the tea. Also, I finally got my second chicken. And we're naming her Wendy. If you know what show that's from, shout out to you. Feel free to guess. I don't know. I'll leave like a little purple heart by your co under your comment or something if you got it right. But cheese and crackers, Batman. How many times do I have to go fishing? Apparently it's at least once a day. A fish a day keeps the doctor away. Stay away from me, Harvey. I don't want to see your face. You betray me every single day. Every time I need to go to the doctors, you're not there. You have abandoned me for the last time. I will not put my trust in you again, Harvey. Worst doctor in this valley. No wonder you're constantly broke. I'm going to stop and say hi to all of the other townsfolk, though, because they're nice to me, and I want to be their friends. And if you want to be their friends, too, then try to talk to them as often as you can. I try to talk to at least one or two a day, just randomly give them things as well. That's like the quickest way you're going to figure out what they like, unless you just Google it and write it down, and then check your notes every time you give them stuff, but I'm too lazy to do that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to end the video here. I hope you tune in to my next episode. Have a wonderful day, y'all.